guys, and welcome to this week's episode of The One Up News Presents to a console near you, brought to you by youtube.com slash improvgaming. As usual, I am the host of this episode, I kind of screwed that up, Jeremy Bird, biggest Zelda fan in the world, coming at you once again. I'm joined by my two best friends right here. First to my left, he is the host with the most, Mr. Fedora Man himself, Pete Anderson. What's going on, guys? And to my right, he has the best ponytail in the business. It's fabulous. Mr. Nicholas. And this week we got the week. And of we have the biggest Zelda fan in the world. I said it already. He, he, said, he always says it first. Does he? Oh, I never yeah. pay attention. Tap to the Triforce on the arm, right there. <laughs> and the Master Sword on his dick. Oh, yeah, we had to run that joke. <laughs> Ladies, you want to see my Master Sword, right? You can pull it out. It actually doesn't make sense. Anyway, this is the week of April 17th to the 23rd. Whoop! First, whoop, whoop! First, we're starting out with Aeon Verge, Axion, excuse me, Axion Verge coming out for the PlayStation Vita. Finally, this game. Was I've on heard the, of this, but what is it about? It's it originally was on the PS4, but it, it's making its home on the Vita. It's um, but it finally is coming to Vita when the uh, nineteenth. Yep, yeah, comes out Tuesday. Oh, that's very good to know. Too bad I don't have a Vita. I've oh, been debating well. on really getting a Vita lately. Like just like I'm, I'm hoping that E3 they do a price cut, yeah. and then if they do, I I've think been, I'm gonna I've been do it. it also. Same here, I'll grab one. Because if they do it at E3, that's what I'm gonna do for Vegas. I'm gonna bring my Vita you if I get one. Fucking traitor. Oh, on a sidebar. And he puts me in the box. <laughs> I, I on a complete sidebar, Nick. Yes. After this episode, don't let me forget. I have a question that we need to figure out about the Xbox One okay. with the games for gold. Okay. Cool. We're back to the... We the also have game. Invisible Ink coming out for PlayStation 4. That's on the 19th as well. This is Ink. Incorporated. Incorporated, yep, basically. And it's Invisible? Yep. Good it's good, it's good game. You're either an organization that's invincible or you're writing, <laughs> invi writing in Invisible Ink. Love it. We also have Loud on Planet X coming out for PlayStation 4, Mac, and PC, bro. PC, PC bro. bro. Woo, woo. All he's doing is writing. It's all good. Loud on Planet X. You live on Planet X and you're trying to be loud. You make rock music. You make a lot of... It's, it's the successor of uh, Brutal Legends. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. I love it. I love it. This is going to be great. We have Melty Blood Actress again. Current code coming out for the PC, bro. PC, PC bro. bro. Woo, woo. I'm not catching that one. Melty Blood Actress again. Current yeah, code. Yeah, that sounds a little weird. I'm not That's touching it with the 10-foot pole. Well, we will be having a guest shortly coming on this game's cast yeah. who actually knows about PC. Oh, so yeah. this, this actually... PC <laughs> he might be on like, this show? I refuse it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, it'll be good. Hey, he vaped because of Nick. <clears throat> Does go. he really? Yeah, this is the kid who was vaping. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I want to meet him. Nice. We also have... See who puffs the, blood, the biggest clouds. <laughs> <laughs> and they're talking about vaping. Yep, we Dirty have, mindset. We also have uh, Pang Adventures coming out for PlayStation 4. Pang Adventures. Shut up, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is the next game called? I'll explain it. Okay, the next game is Masquerade The Baubles of Doom coming out for Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, and PC, bro. PC, PC bro. bro. Woo -woo. Coming out on 420. <laughs> Masquerade. Get it? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I got nothing. I, I don't know <laughs> Any of our PC gamer fans? Help us out with that one. We also have Mega Magic coming out for PC, bro. PC, bro. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. That's also on 420. Mega Magic. Get it? That makes sense now. There you go. <laughs> Mega you'll, Magic. You'll, you'll have magical powers <laughs> on 420. <laughs> but also, I know you're excited for this, Pete. We have Gears of War 4. What was it? The um, multiplayer? The beta. Multiplayer beta. Excuse yeah. me. Coming out for Xbox If one. you played... Or bought, I should say, the Ultimate Edition that came out last year on nine on September twentieth. Should have done that. Um, you actually have access to this beta. But boys, let me tell you something. What? Since we're incorporating some big news in gaming, and we are recording early, so a lot of this news will be fairly early Sunday into Monday, clearly. But Gears of War, they had a nice little teaser trailer. Yes, they did. Um, it was very nice. nice. Um, I don't know if you guys watch. I know Nick watched it. I don't know if you did. I have to check it out. Basically, it shows Marcus Phoenix in the beginning. Look, looks like d digging a grave or plotting plans. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> but it shows his son running through, you know. And it shows, like, his son younger running towards Marcus Phoenix. And basically, now his son in the war zone. And basically, it taking place 20 or 30 years after the trilogy. Definitely a cool little... 
um, little tease, about a minute long. Definitely check that out. Um, but it's good, you know, and more to be discussed on this trailer with this week's Gamecast. So make sure you check that out here. Very nice. We also have Pollen coming out for the Rift and PC, bro. PC, bro. Woo, woo. woo. It's P period, O period, L period, blah, blah, blah. You get it. I don't on know. 420. Pollen, get it? <laughs> 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 to me, I'm going to say Pollen is basically kind of like the game Flower. Okay. Pollen, yeah. Flower. Yeah. I could see it. But a Rift version. Yeah, you're floating around like, whoa! <laughs> Wait, is that weed? Oh, that's weed. Give me that. And we also have uh, Battlefleet Gothic Armada coming out for PC, bro. PC, bro. Woo, woo! No one wants to take these? No one already? No. Jesus. No. All right, then. Jesus. We have... Ro- <laughs> Shut up, God. <laughs> we also have Rogue Stormers coming out for PC, bro. To PC, bro. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> too many PCs this week. Too many. Too many. This is getting exhausting. Oh, God. All the, all the PCs. Yeah, we also have um, Lumo coming out for Xbox One, PS4, Vita, Linux, Max, and PC, bro. PC, bro. Woo, woo. <laughs> PT. <laughs> yeah. Lumo, I don't know what it's about. I may check it out. All right, let's get to the big heavy hitters. What's coming out? Last but not least, we have Star Fox Guard and Star Fox Zero coming out for the Wii U. Yes! What's the difference between the two? Star Fox Guard, I was informed by him, is a tower defense. Basically, you're playing as Slippy Toad's uncle, and basically all these bots are coming at you, and you fu- drive the little Landmaster or the R-Wing, and you just shoot them down. Uh, Quick little basically, game. it was... It's a pre-order special. A pre-order special. Also, it was testing the gamepad... Way back when, so they're like, "Oh, we could just bundle this really, in." Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. throw Star something Fox in Zero. there. So, and also, but just Star Fox Zero, I'm so excited for. I'm a huge, huge Star Fox fan. I've been playing it since the '64. Yes, I did dabble with Star Fox on Super Nintendo, but it didn't quite grab me. No, '64 is when it really like took yeah, off. Yeah, but just oh my god, I played that. Played um, Adventures. What else is there? It was Adventures. There was Assault, which I wasn't a real big fan of. And I played the 3DS remake, which I still play because it's just that fun. Oh, yes, and now I'm looking to it. see, as an origin game, to see the origin of Andros and the whole team coming together finally, which uh, I'm really stoked for. But so we got some news, to... too. What, what news? Even though it comes out next week, and it's a Vita exclusive. Mm-hmm. Did you know that? No, what? April 26th, what comes out, Jay? Slice and Dice. How do you get slice and dice? That's what it's called. Severed release. <laughs> Just Sever has been an, the big exclusive, April twenty sixth. Excuse me. Sounds like a good plan, sir. But uh, we also. That's why you have to tell me things. I know, right? I should. <laughs> but we have some other big news. Uh, we are recording this early. If you you'll find out by us. The, the fans know already. Yeah, but we're um, recording this very early, actually, about four days earlier than we normally do. Yep. But it's okay, because there was still a lot of stuff that came out for Newsworthy. Um, did you know that Quantum Break is the biggest selling new IP for Microsoft this generation? Nice. Not a surprise. It is fantastic. Don't believe me? I told Nick last week when we had our Wisp series here on YouTube.com slash Gaming. I was like, Nick, this is your game. This is It's like PsyOps. And then Nick has already beaten the game even before me. I saw it. I'm like, what? What did your quick quick analysis? What did you think? Quick, quick analysis. Is it analysis? Yeah, analysis. Oh. Like you're giving your thumb. Yeah. Quick analysis. Awesome game. <laughs> um, should you should they play it? Yes. It's so it's two, it's two a bit it's a lawyer. bit buggy and the collision detection's a little bit off, but it is a good game. It's a phenomenal game. I wish that they would incorporate a better use of headshots. But they didn't. I think that they just did a standard armor plating against the character for the hit detection. And uh, it works fine. It's, it works fine, but I would have liked sensitivity based on where you're shooting the person. Yeah, fair enough. I would know if I had played it, but oh well. But besides that, it's an absolutely fantastic game, and I think I think anybody should play it. I, nice. I don't care who you are. If you don't own an Xbox One, get an Xbox One to play Quantum Break. Only two ninety nine. Not too bad. Yeah, it's not. not too that's bad. a good price. It's not too bad. Now Nick should be very excited about this as well. What's that? New gameplay of No Man's Sky. Twenty one minutes of new gameplay. Yeah. Is that? Ah, I've seen it. I mean, I haven't seen it, but like, it, Wait, it's it's probably standard, basically the same thing that now, we've already seen. Do you not want to see any more? You just want to play. Oh, no the game? Yeah, I just want to play the game. You, you don't. Want to see it. I don't want to see any more stuff. You I just, just want to play the game. game. I'm, I'm I I don't want some to release more stuff. I just just release the game. 
please. Stop listen. trying to get me more hyped for a game that I'm already like at 110% for. Because I think anybody that likes No Man's Sky or is looking forward to whole No Man's Sky yeah. is already 110% excited to play Did the game. Did you pre-order it yet on the no. PlayStation Network? No. I didn't. Are you going to, you think? I might. I don't know. Just do it now. <laughs> you know what I pre-ordered? What? The no. next topic, which is Ratchet and Clank has been getting great, great, great awesome reviews. Which I'm just going to play the original. Deal with quite it. Quite excited about. You know, I was very worried. You know, yeah, it's a remake a or a reboot. You know, of the original, a couple new things are added in. But from what the reviews are saying, and from obviously what you can see, and the Let's Play I put up here on YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming, beautiful game. Absolutely beautiful. Guns are so much fun. Uh, the pixel gun is amazing. Um, just, it, it's it's a Pixar movie brought to life, you know, and also the movie's coming out in a week, two weeks after we're recording this. The 29th of April, wherever that may month, lie. Yeah. But uh, very excited for that. It's going to be based on the game, but if you want to play the game, 15 hours, awesome. Check out the Let's Play I put up. You're going to see me and just googly-eyed all Let's Play. <laughs> but to round out the big stuff that happened early in the week is um, Titanfall. Got a, Titanfall 2 got a teaser. Did it? Really? It did. Yeah? Uh, how, how, how are you feeling uh, about Titanfall 2? I don't care. Well... Well, you and, don't have an Xbox One, so... But it's, played, sure, it's no, going played, to be multi I played the original on my buddy's house, and I wasn't a fan. From what I understand, it will be multi-platform. Yeah? This year. That's what they're talking. You know, they realized that, you know, hey, Xbox One didn't sell as well. You know, PlayStation 4 is really taking the first-person yeah. shooter with Call of Duty <laughs> coming over and everything like that. But Titanfall wasn't a good shooter game. No, it wasn't. Like, are they trying to, like, say, oh, the game sucked because it was on Xbox One, the sales weren't there because it was on Xbox yeah, One? basically. That's what they're trying to say? Mm -hmm. Instead of the sales weren't there because the game kind of sucked? Because the game was flimsy, right? It was. Well, I didn't it had play no it. I didn't play it. Single com, uh, single player campaign. No, no campaign. Big, that's, right? that, that was the biggest flaw. It was, all, it was so basically so. multiplayer, right? And even mm -hmm. the multiplayer aspect of it wasn't that engaging. Yeah. Right. Like it was just in and out. Like it, it was. It was. It was. If Destiny didn't have a story. Destiny right? has a story. <laughs> it's a little bit loud, but but it was as if <laughs> yeah. like you didn't have like you couldn't play Destiny by yourself. You had to play all the online stuff. Which is, you know, Destiny as all the online stuff. That's why I stopped playing it because I ran out of interesting things to do. Well, it is what the rumor is, and you'll find out a whole bunch because they said more to be revealed June twelfth, which is right around D three, yep. obviously. Um, the big thing I took away from this teaser was um, there was mechs with swords. I don't know if you caught that, but oh. basically what? they had pounded down a sword. What you know that, me. What's that remind you of? Gundam Wing. I was thinking Transformers Age of Extinction, but... Gundam Wing? No. <laughs> no, no we don't associate good stuff with fucking Titanfall. What are you doing? It, it reminds me of Gundam. This gets me Gundam very... Gundam with beam swords. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's still a sword. I'll talk to you. <laughs> this gets me very excited because I'm a big fan of swords. You know, I collect some swords. Too bad yours is not a void, but... But I'm excited because <clears throat> it looks like another dimension to the game. And if they promise the story content, multi-platform, I think they'll actually take care, you know. With most games, you know, the first game, it's to see what works, what doesn't work, and yeah. then they build off of it. Like, similar thing could be said about Uncharted. You know, Uncharted 1 was a great game, and a lot of people did like Titanfall, but Uncharted 2 stepped it yeah, up, but so usually, I'm hoping. Usually, like, like, if the game is good, you get a sequel. Like, Halo was good, so you got a sequel to it. Mm -hmm. You know, Kane and Lynch was good, so you got a sequel to it. Uncharted was good, so you got a sequel to it. God of War was good, so you got a sequel to it. Devil God May Cry War, was the original good. God of War. We, <laughs> Devil May Cry got a sequel. Bayonetta yeah, was and good. the sequel was shitty on Devil May Cry. Bayonetta was good, so you got a you sequel. Got, it to took it. a while to get the sequel. Yeah, it we took a while to, say, to get the sequel. So usually, like really good games get sequels. I don't mm. know why. I think they're just trying to get it, like get to reignite the flame and try to develop something that that might actually bring more. To it, well, I think the developers were like, "No, we had a, a, a an absolutely fantastic idea. I think it was in our execution. So let's try something different. And if all you're doing is um, incorporating the beam sword from Halo, then I don't really want to play it." Hmm. Well, that's so far Weird. the big things that happened in the last two days. You know, nice. Besides, you know, trailers, movie trailers coming out. But for gaming, that's basically the big stuff. Quite excited, you know. But lots of bit talk about this week with. These little teasers, but yeah, I'll we let also you take have over. yeah, we also have coming up this week. What makes you pre-order a game, cool. which you'll be handling? 
I'm going to be handling the future of E3. Ooh. Very, very interesting. And Nick's going to be handling... Overlooked games, baby. There we go. Ooh, you know what? This this sounds like a great week. And if you're not subscribed, you My should be because it's good. My Master Sword is powering up. Oh, your Master... It's going from 6 to midnight <laughs> for Hyrule. <laughs> that sounds like a great week. But we'll see you guys tomorrow for what makes you order... Excuse me, what makes you pre-order a game. Brought to you by YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming. And until then... Game, game on. on. Oh, uh, news presents coming soon to a console near you. Very